Hey guys, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about um, my orientation. Today I had sonography orientation for the program, and we went over a lot of stuff. It was a four hour orientation. So let me go ahead and jump, and jump right into it. first thing that they gave us were, um, again, our pretty much our degree plan and the courses that we would have to be taking extra other than sonography classes. And so they gave us pretty much like a list. It's just a list of all the classes that I would have to take. And then uh, we had to turn it in. On the first day of school, we have to turn this in with the classes that we've taken, what grade we got when we took it and uh, stuff like that. And so there's also, just because there's two semesters where there's extra classes other than sonography classes, there's a psychology and you have to take a humanities, some type of, yeah, something like that. So I've already taken mine and as you can see I've already filled them out here. And of course these up here, of course they were all filled out because of the prerequisites. But, uh, so they were going over just how uh, hard it's going to be and how to make sure you keep track and stay organized of everything that you're doing and that you need to do and make sure that you don't you know, forget stuff. Next, we talked about practicum and what is expected of us out there. So they gave us our order forms. Um, our, our order packet for our uniforms and where we have to go, what we had to do when we had to order it and pretty much they gave us like three days to go and place our order and submit it to the clinical coordinator that we have already um, gone to submit the order because um, you know they want to make sure that you have everything ready to go. So we have to order three uniforms. It tells us exactly what we have to do, um, how strict they are in the dress code. Um, like I said in other videos, it's, you know, you're the professional. So they told us, you know, we, uh, our uniforms have to be nice and at least ironed, you know. I know sometimes when you take it out of the dryer, especially with scrubs, it comes a little, like, puffy around the hem. Up, like any edges that it has and the hem too. So you, you want to iron it and make it look really nice and clean. You don't have to go and like take it to get pressed or anything. Just nice you know, iron stuff. Um, you have to have it embroidered with your name on it. And then you have to have um, you have to have the ear school patch on there as well. You have to have white socks, white shoes. They cannot be anything other than white shoes. Um, they, they, were, they were telling us that some people would take white shoes and it would have like maybe a blue line on it or anything. No, it has to be completely white. So now they, um, now they give us the shoe order that we have to go and get. Um, so that was for the uniforms and that needs to be placed within the next three days. So I need to go do that. Then there's this... Um, site that we go to which is certified background site and we have to open up an account within the next three days and that account will um, let us know like it, it's a medical document manager with plus a drug test plus, plus a background check package and pretty much it just keeps documentation of all of your stuff and then also with your vaccines and that's um, that is needed for clinicals and with the clinical sites are um, so it's their requirements. You submit it to the background, uh, this certified background account, and they keep everything together so that the uh, clinical coordinator can just go to one place and all of your paperwork is there. So I have to get that done within the next three days. They also gave us the books that we were going to need because I guess they had been getting emails. Um, saying, okay, well, what books are they? Because we want to start reading them already, and what, you know, when, um, which ones are we, do we need to buy? So they gave us the books that we are going to need for the fall, 
which was Sonography, Introduction to Normal Structure and Function, Diagnostic Medical Sonography, A Guide to Clinical Practice, Abdomen and Superficial Structures, and Ultrasound and Obstetrics and Gynecology, A Practitioner's Guide. So those are the three books that um, we're going to need. And they say that it's best or cheaper, you know, like if you get it online. So that's that. They also told us, oh, you know, going back to the background, um, they also gave us all of the, um, a list of all of the vaccines and stuff that we were going to need and things that, things that we were going to need in, for that, which was like MMR, varicella, hepatitis B, TB, your DTAP, your CPR certification, your flu shot, physical examination. And then, of course, your criminal background check and your drug test. So that's that. They also gave us our schedule. Um, not really the schedule, like for the first week at least, they gave us like all the different ways that we could have our schedule. But um, of course, some of these classes are repeated because some, like half of our class, will probably be in one class and the other half will be in the class. So, yeah, they gave us our schedule. And it's also good because it has. Um, the other classes, even the ones that we're not in, but at least we'll know when the lab is busy and when it's not busy, so so we'll know when we can go in there after hours. And we, um, our school, they also gave us a list of all of the C, the class that just graduated, all of their phone numbers so that we can contact them in case there's anything that, you know, any that we need help on. Sorry, it's, it's not even that late, it's 10 o'clock. I had a long day. So yeah, um, that is, that's all the information that they gave us. And then of course, other stuff. Um, we had a support system there, so Daniel was there. And my mom would have been there, but she had already made her um, tickets to go to her, on her trip to California, so she didn't go. But um, they were pretty much just letting the support system know how difficult it's going to be um, for us and how we're going to have to really be on it and study and for them to push us, you know, and even when it seems hard, just, you know, it's not that long and in, in the end, it's just so rewarding. So to, you know, really help and push us and stuff like that and that, um, you know, we're going to be gone so much because we're always going to be spending our extra time at the lab and, and stuff like that. Oh, oh, I thought I had lost my earring. So that is all of the information that we got today. It was really long, but it was so interesting, and I was just happy to be there. I had been so excited to go to the orientation. And then, um, of course, we're going to, on the first day of class, they're going to do another orientation as well, going over the student handbook and stuff like that. But today was just really getting into it. And they, they um, it's only 12 students that got in. Um, two of them I had already known from my class, the, uh, the basic ultrasound physics that you have to take as a prerequisite. So I already knew two of the girls in there. And then, you know, I did mingle with some of the other uh, students so that I can kind of get to know them. So I'm going to be working closely with everybody for the next year and a half for two years. So, um, yeah. It was just really exciting. I am so happy that, um, you know, we went and even Daniel, he was like, man, he was getting, even he was getting like kind of excited and, and stuff like that. And it's because, you know, even though he's not going to be in the program, he knows in the long run, it's just going to completely, you know, be good for our whole family. So I'm really excited. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on what we talked about, and I'll probably give you guys the next update probably on the first day of school, which will be in August. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.